Alrighty, welcome back. It is time once again for that special K moment. Now this is K no, not the cereal. Although some cereal, some strawberry, some whipped cream. Mmm, yummy. Well, this is the other yummy. This is the Kubuntu desktop based, of course, on the um, KDE desktop environment. Of course, you know that Ubuntu is also has been just released. 14.04 Trusty Tar. In a word, this is customizable. Always has been, always will be, I suppose. Extremely loaded. If you wanted to take a look at the features of this, I highly recommend you go to the Kubuntu website. I will have all the links below in the show notes. So if you are coming from an XP environment and wanted to try this, go ahead. Make sure you have at least a gigabyte of RAM, preferably more. If your machine is older, take a look at Zubuntu with an X or Lubuntu with an L. All right, for this review, I thought I, you know, I thought instead of looking at the features, let me just show you how I customize this Kubuntu desktop in case you are a newbie to this. Now, this is not the default desktop. The default desktop is okay, somewhat bland for my taste, but that's the beauty of this type of Linux. You can change it to the way you like it. All right, the wallpaper. I right-clicked and go to desktop settings, default desktop settings. This bluish one is the one by default. I found this one by going here, get new wallpapers. And I think I went to either rating or most downloads and just did a search. Uh, I scrolled up and down. It didn't take me too long. I picked this one at random. I forget where it's at here, but you can search for it, click install, and it'll install it on your desktop. That's how I found the wallpaper. As far as the theme, Nice little function here is the quick search function, as I call it. I just type in um, T-H-E-M-E, -E, customize the desktop theme. Air, air for netbooks, oxygen is installed by default. The diamond theme, as you see here, this transparent theme, I, I just went to get new themes, as a Windows user would, of course, or any user for that matter. Again, I just searched through here. Diamond sounded good. I downloaded that. I'm not sure where it's here exactly. I just clicked install and installed it. And it will come up here. As far as all of your desktop themes will go, just highlight the one you want. The panel bar is normally at the bottom. I put it to the top. The way you do that is right click, panel options, panel settings, and screen edge, hold that up and down, as you see here, self-explanatory, the height or the size, again, you can change these icons, as you see here, uh, I guess right there is okay for now. Another famous thing Kubuntu uh, does is widgets, little shortcuts you can add to the panel or to the desktop, right click, add widgets and many 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 choices as you see here um you know what let's just keep it simple let's go to the analog clock i'll just drag that there and there you go of course you can you know move this as you see here there we go you can uh change the size of this if you want to let's see there it goes there it goes rather and you can click and hold that like that and it's under UTC time zone that can be changed under settings but basically that is called a widget a plasmoid I think they call it alright let me go ahead and click the X out of that one thing I do like is the customization or the way that you can change the way the start button as I call it or the K menu start button here if you click that now this is not the default start menu the default start menu would be the launcher style. All I did was right click and it would give you this Windows 7 ish type of start menu. This is fine if you like this. For this, I prefer the XP looks. I, I switch to right click, switch to classic menu style. And again, if you are coming from XP, you might prefer this. Many, many, many pieces of software here, as you see, too numerous to mention. Uh, of course, um, you know, Firefox is installed by default. Chromium is good too, and you may want to check out Opera. Uh, Firefox is really very nice web browser for both Windows and Linux, I suppose, and so and so is Chrome. Uh, if you, by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and vote for the uh, latest poll. Is Ubuntu heading in the right direction? Check out the, also the latest podcast between me and my Australian partner, podcast partner infinitely galactic talking about time to dump xp 
Let's see, what else we have here? You have a hot corner there. Very nice. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of this. Of course, the panel bar at the top with the usual uh, shortcuts, and you can add to the panel bar different shortcuts. I'm just going through these one by one. There's the wireless there, the battery, my Bluetooth, the uh, sound mixer there. Uh, I installed a Kazam screen recorder. One thing about this, I had a heck of a time trying to let my to get my USB microphone work. Uh, I couldn't get the sound to work, so I plugged in this old uh, uh, microphone, one eighth inch. This is these are the type of microphone th these you buy by the bushel, you know, uh, like Apple's, you know, two for a quarter or ten dollars for a bushel or whatever. So the quality may not be the same, but hey, it works. So that is. Those are the shortcuts. The let's take a look at the Dolphin File Manager. Again, Windows-ish, I suppose. You can change the look of this, as you see here, of the folders, including a nice split view to drag files and folders from left to right, and so on. Well, this is Kubuntu 14.04. Like what I see so far, it appears stable and polished. I didn't have any issues installing. Installing this was quite easy. So if you are looking for an alternative to XP and have plenty of RAM, take a look at Kubuntu 14.04. That's it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for four years of the Total OS Today channel helping newbies around the world, I suppose, and I need your help. Please consider a small donation to help maintain and grow the channel. I have requests that I would like to fulfill if I could get the funding that I needed to take a look at those requests. I haven't forgotten about you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And As always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Bye-bye.